I want people to be on a dance floor and feel like they have to pee, but they won't, don't want to go. They want to get a drink, but they stay on the dance floor. This is my aim. The dance floor is there to feel free to express yourself. Maron, that's based on the runaway slaves of Suriname back in the day. These are the people that resisted to be slaves. The most close thing I would say to our roots, as I'm playing my techno, I want it to be super powerful. I found it a good way of, you know, making my portfolio um, with, throughout sets. I play my podcast like I would play in a club. I present myself when people are trying to book me, this is what you're going to hear. Each set has a different story to the past of the Maroons. I think it's very important to have a storyline. I have a tricky sound, I would say. I have like different flows and different kind of energy flows in there as well. Storyline is everything for me. I'm trying to express myself in a way where I can make this storyline special for everybody. Gilles Ravent, Isabel, Dida, Desmond. We started a collective which is called Ears Community. We felt there was a need to have a party on a Sunday and there was like 30 people overall. So we started doing illegal raves. We felt a certain need of a crowd have a, a, a free space. The, the 80 people, 100 people that were there were really the people that we wanted to be, we wanted to have there. A year later, Maybe 200, 250 people, I think, on our rave. We got rolled up from location one within like 30 minutes. Then we got rolled up from location two in like, what is it, like an hour maybe. And then we had to go to another location. All these people traveled with us to all these locations. We built this, like, this little community. It's not the DJ and organization and the crowd. No, it's this little family that we're building and having this party together. A couple months later, where we did uh, the, the rave that went viral on, uh, on Instagram. And there we had like 400 people and that was our best, best rave, I would say. That was insane. We also had this vision of bringing in this illegal rave vibe indoors. We wanted to have the same vibe, the same free space for our people, dorsal only. 250, 300 people max. It has to have a certain raw vibe to it as well. Playing techno, that was needed. This is not just us five. We don't present timetables and lineups. Nobody knows anything. The most important thing is to build this trust with the crowds. People just come and just trust us completely blindly of who's playing. It will be good music. If we feel like you bring this type of energy and uh, type of sound that fits the Irish community, you're very welcome. It's actually not so well known within the black community. To be honest, it's from the ghetto, from Detroit. It's definitely black music as well. What I love about techno is it, it unites people and it brings people together. It's a place where racism is not tolerated, homophobia is not tolerated, transphobia is not tolerated. This is a place where people don't look at color. People should feel free, lose itself, escape from the reality. Techno people, diversity is very important. Every type of person is welcome to our party and should feel free and should feel welcome. This is something which I really praise from the techno scene. Super important. I'm black myself. I've never been in a situation where I didn't feel safe on a techno party. We will not tolerate racism at our party at all. If I'm somewhere and I see it happening, somebody wouldn't feel safe or feel comfortable, I will speak up. 
and we expect our people to speak up. And that's the only way we could fight racism.